Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be demoing all three of the new Tom Ford eyeshadow collections that are from the new Soleil Neige. It's actually pronounced Soleil Neige. Neige. Not Neige. Collection, so if you are interested in checking these out, then just keep watching. little this collection is currently trickling out so that you can purchase it and I know I have a lot of Tom Ford lovers here on my channel and you guys know I've started dabbling in. I'm not a full collector but I have definitely picked up a lot more pieces than I'd like to admit in the last few months. So this collection is called their Soleil Neige collection and actually what Neige means is snow. So it's kind of like a snow wintry inspired collection and honestly just looking at the shades this collection really makes me think of snow and winter so they did a great job with that. This collection actually has quite a few things. You have three eye quads, two liquid highlighters, three Soleil glow sticks, a couple of cream and powder eye colors, and four shades of lip balms. So it is quite a large collection but my wallet is not that large. And if you do want to see a whole video on the entire collection, check out my friend Michelle Wong's video because she already has it up because she's amazing. So check her video out because She's more helpful than me. I'm being honest here. So I decided to just pick up three of the eyeshadow quads and I did pick up one of the glow stick illuminators. So I will be talking about this briefly in my video as well. But definitely the main focus of this video is on the quads because this is what I covet from Tom Ford for sure. So let's talk about the eye color quads. So as you know, Tom Ford is quite expensive. So these are $88 each. I think what attracted me to these the most was the fact that it was an all white packaging. Normally it's all black packaging so this just made me even happier it's brighter it's more wintry and I love winter so it makes me happy and then the colors of the quads the way I would describe this collection is just icy it, it's winter and you keep hearing me say that because this collection really does scream winter icy pretty frosty in a good way so you get this really pretty glowy peachy one you get a smoky one right here and then you have this one which obviously is the one I have on my eyes right now and this is the one I was most excited about by the way so the layout of this video is I really just individually go into each quads the colors and how they look on me so let's get into it all right so the first eyeshadow quad that I'm going to be demoing for you guys today is Soleil Diver hopefully that's how you say it so this one I think is going to be the most popular one because it is absolutely stunning the way they swatch are really beautiful if you like a really light glowy kind of eye you're really going to enjoy this one so i'm gonna show you how i got this look first i'm gonna start off by taking the darkest color and i'm using this one dry and i'm gonna start it off by patting out here and then work that into the crease and then work on kind of blending it out so this shade can be used as an all over crease color i is still shimmering so just keep that in mind. I know some people that kind of you don't like <laughs> shimmers in the crease But the way this blends out it's still possible But I think it's really pretty and it's really different and that's just part of the Tom Ford look And as you can see it went from really dark to blending out with ease And you can actually pat this color all over the crease if you want it to be deep like it originally looked While I'm at it, I'm gonna pop that on my lower lash line as well Just a light wash the next shade that I'm going into is this one right here. It's a very light champagne shade and that's just going in the outer half of my lid and this all over the lid would be really pretty just a very pretty glow i'm using it dry and all over the lid mm. but because i did want to use other colors in this palette i'm going in with this super light peachy shade i'm going to use this one wet to give it a little bit of an extra glow so i'm just using some mac fix plus and these are just so easy to use and then finally, I'm going in with the lightest and brightest shade. And this one, I would love to put all over my lid. I think it would be really stunning for a really bright eye. I just wet my brush and we're going to place that right in the inner corner and underneath the brow bone. 
And I did do this look because I wanted to show you every shade in the palette, but you don't need to use every shade. You can still kind of get a similar vibe by just using one or two shades, but really, really stunning. So I'm going to finish the rest of the look and I will be right back. Okay, so overall, here's the completed look. I did keep everything really natural and I actually only just applied some brown mascara, but I would say if you like these really simplistic, glowy eye looks, you're going to love this. This palette isn't going to give you a ton ton of definition, but that's honestly what I really like about this palette. I feel like I don't need definition. I just really want the glow and the finish of these shadows to shine through. So I think this one is going to be a lot of people's favorites in the collection, and I'm loving this look. It's so simple. It looks like a Tom Ford kind of eye if you are like me and you are really into that Tom Ford finish, and you know what I mean when I say it's like a Tom Ford look. Like, this is the Tom Ford look. So loving this quad, let's move on to the next one. So the next palette that I'm gonna demo for you guys is Soleil Neige, which is the name of the collection. So this is kind of, I wanna say the inspiration of the collection maybe, but this one is supposed to embody the collection. And if you love smoky eyes, you will love this palette. This is like a Tom Ford smoky eye lover dream in a really cool icy way. So in this quad, you have a sparkly frosty white. It's not super, super opaque, but it does have quite a lot of sheen to it. Then you have this really, cool toned kind of steel gray color is very sheer but this is gonna look really stunning all over the lid then you have a navy and then finally a soft black now all of these have the same kind of little sparkles of glitter really gorgeous for the winter time and I'm loving it I'm loving how glittery this whole palette is so I wanted to have the navy as a center point and this formula is really great to be used wet or dry but there's something really special if you ask me about the way that these shadows look dry just the finish that they have on the eye that's just so subtle but glittery and I'm just kind of blending that for the first layer and then I'm going to kind of pack on a touch more if you want the navy to show through kind of pack it on while it's wet but I really want this soft navy kind of wash everywhere and then the next color that I'm going into is this grayish color right here and this one is really soft and pretty so if you use this with another palette pair it with browns it's gonna be super pretty I'm sorry I literally don't know another adjective besides pretty. And then I wanted to play with the white and I really wanted a really bright wash on the lid to make the whole look feel more wintry. So I'm just using my finger and just kind of patting that right over top. And I normally would want to leave the look at where it's at because I really like this navy and white wash on the lid. But I'm actually going to go in with the soft black color. It's not quite black black. And I'm just going to lightly pat that just to add a little bit of definition to give that smoky effect to the look. Very simple. It really adds a little bit of depth to the eye. And on my lower lash line, I'm just taking a refer pencil brush and I'm going to run that down here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish with lashes and lips and I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts on this quad. All right, so with lashes and lips and everything, here is what final look looks like. On my lips, for those of you wondering, I'm wearing the Natasha Denona Noah. This is like my go-to for cool toned looks. And I really like this palette even more than I thought I would because because normally I don't go for like smoky palettes, but this is so pretty, so sophisticated, and it's perfect for winter. Yeah, I think a lot of you are really going to like this one. This one has very fine silver glitter in all of the shades, which I think is actually really nice because you are getting that cohesion throughout the whole eye. It's just really pretty. So if you are into these colors, you will definitely enjoy this one. So for the last quad in this collection, this is Soleil et Loon. Don't know how to say it, but I do know this was the one I was most excited to receive. It's a very icy palette, as you can see. I would generally say for this one, you really can't do a full look with a lot of depth. This is a very bright and light palette, but it is stunning. Just kind of eyeballing this one, I would say it is the most unique of his already existing collection. So it's stunning. That I'm just I'm so excited for this one. So in here, you're getting a, another frosty white. This one has a little bit of a more cream to it, a little slight yellow undertone to it. Of the palettes, this one is the most 
pigmented bright white kind of shade then we have this really light peach color then you have this brighter gray color it actually is a little bit more silver when you swatch it and then of course you have this aqua green color really stunning it is more subtle than you would think but in a really sophisticated green way first color I'm going to dig into is the more peachy one I'm going to use this one dry and I'm just applying that to the inner third of my lid and if you were to put this all over the lid with nothing else on you would have the most pretty glowy lid love that and then I had to of course Put this all over my eyelid so I'm using my finger to apply it because I just want a lot of color to it as you can see you can get a really sheer wash but what I'm gonna do to kind of brighten it up is I'm going to wet it so I'm just wetting my finger that already has the shadow on it and instantly it's going to really make that color show through so pretty and icy. And then the next shade I'm going to be using is that bright color right here. And I'm just putting that right in my inner corner. As you can see, it is so pigmented and icy. Really pretty. And then the last shade. I know these looks are super easy. I'm taking the silver color and I'm just lining my lower lash line with that one. Okay, so I'm going to apply the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Alright, so here's the final look with the Soleil et Lune palette. On my lips, I'm wearing Marc Jacobs sugar sugar and the bite beauty lip gloss in flat white and as you can see it is a very frosty kind of look i feel like it's early 2000s but sophisticated you know this quad by the way 10 out of 10 loving it so something else from the collection that i did want to talk about before i go through the final roundup is of the glow stick now this is in the collection there are two other shades it is 55 dollars, and the shade that i have is majeev i've used this for all three of the looks that i've showed you today if you just heard that i i swear i wasn't farting that was just my chair I have more manners than that. And I like it. I don't love it. It's not like a cream to powder, which normally in stick form, I... That one really sounded like a fart. <laughs> It wasn't though. Prefer a cream to powder formulation. When I applied this straight to my cheeks and used my fingers to blend it out, it did kind of move my foundation a little bit. It does have some dry down though, so it's not like your face is super sticky, but I found that the best way to apply it for me is to put it on my sponge and just apply it just like that and it's really really pretty it's very buildable and then the shimmer shade here it isn't super bright so I would say this one is more towards medium skin tones but it still does work for me and the best way I find to apply this is just to use the warmth of my finger and just apply it straight to the cheekbone again I think this is prettier for medium skin tones this specific color but it still works on me and I'm pretty picky about cream illuminators because they really can move the foundation and make it look weird and pick it up this one has a pretty nice job and it is like a very natural glow from within kind of color so I do really like this so if you like those cream kind of products this is something that I would look into it's very nice all right so let's go into the final roundup of these palettes this one was the first one that I showed you guys I absolutely love it it's for a more neutral kind of bright eye I do wish that these colors were a little bit more different because the effect of these shadows are so glowy that it's kind of hard to tell the difference between them but if you use them wet that's when you're definitely going to be able to tell the difference so just keep that in mind most of you are really going to love this one if you love that neutral peachy glowy eye this is for you. Soleil Neige, of course, as you can tell, is for the smoky eye lovers. Even if you don't love a smoky eye, this is so stunning. This actually was my favorite look of the three, I think, and you get the most depth from this palette. So I do think if you have a deep skin tone, this is the one that you are going to want to go towards. This is like the perfect winter palette, in my opinion. And then the last one that I just used is personally my favorite because I feel like compared to all of the other Tom Ford eyeshadow quads in the collection, this one is the most unique. It's frosty, it's icy, but in a pretty way, not like obnoxious bad makeup way. So this one one to me is just the most special one of the three but I think this particular collection caters to a number of different people while still staying close to the theme because this is a winter collection the inspiration is like snow and all of that so these eyeshadow palettes really embody that I think they did a great job so even if you don't love the colors of these keep in mind what the inspiration was and I think that's really going to give some meaning to why these are the way they are and they are in gorgeous 
white packaging. So that's all I have for today's video. I hope that this was helpful for those of you who are trying to decide which quad you wanted to purchase. You guys know I love Tom Ford, so this wasn't as much of a review about the quality as it was just my opinions of the palette and seeing how they look on the eye. So let me know which ones you decide to pick up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't taken the time to subscribe, I do hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a good one.